Stars and Planets from Chaos. Well, let's take uh, the galaxy as the basic department of the universe, 100,000 million galaxies in the universe. Um, so the galaxy is its basic department. Now, a galaxy begins as a chaotic mass of heated matter, and it has mass and energy. Eventually, it forms into stars and planets in or orderly sidereal systems. And um, we live in an orderly solar system, and um, ours is not the only solar system. Also, um, ours is not the only galaxy with orderly sidereal systems. So this is um, a regular thing within the universe. Now, why doesn't the galaxy remain a chaotic mass? Because it could just do that, it could just stay as it is as a chaotic mass. Um, well, Theosophy postulates that everything in the universe has consciousness. There's no dead matter in the universe. Even an atom has consciousness. Also, evolution is driven by consciousness seeking to find expression. Now, within the amorphous mass, or chaotic mass, of the um, early stages of the galaxy, um, the consciousness that exists within the mass forms into fields of consciousness and these are working to a blueprint. And the formation of stars and planets in sidereal systems is expedited by these fields of consciousness. Now, once the um, galaxy has formed itself into um, sidereal systems, this consciousness still exists both in planets and stars and in the systems. And the also will postulate that the Earth and the other planets in the solar system have consciousness. Uh, not consciousness as we experience it in the human kingdom, but consciousness, and also the Sun has consciousness. And that the solar system itself has a field of consciousness and that field of consciousness is part of a greater um, sidereal field of consciousness.